So we have a brand new day and opportunity to, to learn something new, to make something perhaps, and a fresh sheet in the playbook. And today I wanted to go out and gather some herbs. I've been trying to familiarize myself a bit more with the native plants in the area and, and just learning more about the, uh, the flowers and the, and the greens that I've seen a million times, but I don't really know that much about. And one of those is this one right here, which is yarrow. They seem like kind of like a weed, but it, it's a very interesting plant. It has a very long history of medicinal uses, you know, all over the world. When you read the, the benefits of yarrow, it's, uh, it sounds, you know, incredible. Wound healing, fever reducing, fights inflammation. And I don't know. I don't know if any of that is going to actually be the case, but nonetheless, I thought, this is something that I want to, uh, to cut and uh, to dry and, I don't know, play with a little bit, have some fun with, see what I can do. But where, where do you dry a lot of herb? I don't want screens everywhere and I was thinking putting something in the ceiling might be a good idea. I've never seen anybody do this before, but I was thinking about the concept of a hammock and how that should be the ideal location for, for flowers and herbs to dry, right? A thin piece of fabric. So I gathered some branches here. I didn't have any dowels. First I was thinking about getting dowels, but I didn't have any on hand. So it's like, well, I'll get some branches and I'll remove the bark. It'll kind of add more of a slightly rustic nature and feel to the, the project anyway, which is, is kind of nice. Giving me a chance to use my, my favorite tool, which is the hatchet. I really like that one. And of course, having a space like this, having a workshop is such a pleasure. And I feel like I can really, like I'm allowed to play in here. I can put something up in the ceiling. Um, like a hammock, which I might not have done in my house, but the more I think about it, I actually want to put this up in my house more because I love this idea. So I just have some basic white fabric here. It's cotton, nothing fancy. You could use pretty much anything. And then I'm just going to create like a little pocket for these branches to go into. You wouldn't even have to do a, use a sewing machine. I mean, you could do this by hand or add some loops or it doesn't really matter. The idea is just that you find a way to secure the fabric to the branches. I figured I might as well make it relatively large, this hammock. <laughs> of course, it, it, it's not gonna carry a lot of weight. I'm, I'm finding the studs here in the ceiling, but I'm making this from the point of view that it's going to hold flowers and bouquets and herbs and things like that so I'm not really concerned I'm not no one's gonna go up up there and, and lay down and take a nap if you know what I mean so I just do some some twine to create loops trying to keep it as basic as possible but you know when you uh, Kind of have an idea of something you want to try and in your in your mind first it sounds good but you don't quite know if it's going to be as 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 good as as you think it might be well this is one of those projects that turned out above expectations i would say so i'm removing the flowers here and the stems of the arrow to dry them you could apparently use both the uh, the leaves and the flowers, so I figured I might as well dry both. And uh, there you go, a little hammock, <laughs> a ceiling hammock for drying herbs right up there. Which, uh, here's a little unexpected benefit, I didn't realize beforehand that you kind of create a lampshade <laughs> if you have a lamp above there and it looks kind of cool.
herbs like this, when they have a lot of airflow, I mean, they dry really quickly. And they, of course, shrink as well. So over the next couple of days, as I went for walks, I continuously picked some more yarrow everywhere I went, everywhere I saw them. And that's the thing with this plant, it kind of grows everywhere. And once you realize what it looks like, you see it just popping up everywhere. I guess it depends on where you live, but I know it grows in a lot of different areas. So just uh, kind of surprised of going in there and seeing the different herbs. It's kind of nice. And I've been using this now for um, for yarrow, lots of yarrow. I've been using it to dry um, blackberry leaves and a variety of flowers. I was debating about whether to take the sheet down when I was going to remove it. I mean, which you could, but then I was thinking it might not be necessary and I just kind of lifted it down. Where we go there? Here we have the yarrow. So I want to do a couple of fun things with it. But after this, um, making this hammock now, I'm, I'm thinking I, I would kind of, I can imagine putting these in various places, like in the kitchen, using like kitchen towels and having various smaller hammocks in the kitchen for drying things to kind of integrate it into your life. It's like that. It's funny how much uh, everything reduces in size though when you dry it. This was a lot of yarrow. <laughs> I figured I would say the stems uh, for maybe uh, using for basket weaving at some later point, I don't know. We'll see. But that was it for this project. Thanks for, uh, for checking in. <laughs>